What's up guys, this is Red back again with another DV 4.0 video. And in this video, we will take a look at how to design a creative custom header using the new DV theme builder. So this video will have three parts. Part number one, how to design a creative header using the new theme builder. Part number two, how to make a sticky so that when we scroll down our video, the header comes down with us. And the part number three will be about how to make our header responsive for our mobile and tablet devices. Uh, so I've seen a couple of videos uh, about the new DB Theme Builder. They've showed us how to design a custom header and they've also showed us how to make our custom header sticky. But I don't think so that any of these videos have taught us or have showed us how to make that header responsive for our mobile and tablet devices so this video we will be focusing on that as well also if you find this video interesting don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can get to know about this video as well so i guess that's it this is the introduction and without further ado let's get started uh, so this is the design that we are aiming for in this video uh, we have these two buttons here then we have our navigation menu uh, in between these two buttons and then below the navigation menu we have our social media icons which look pretty cool and when we scroll down this menu stays where it is and it comes down with us so it is a sticky floating uh, navigation menu or a custom header so we go back to our uh, dashboard we go to divi and theme builder and from here we are going to delete our custom header that which is this one and we are going to add a new custom header first let's save our changes and reload here so that we can make sure that we have actually deleted our custom header here perfect so we have this default DV header which looks pretty pretty boring so now let's go back to our theme builder add a custom header and build custom header so we are going to build from scratch so now what we have to do is that first we have to create a three column row because we need to add buttons on the right and left um, column and in the bottom column we have to add um, our navigation menu so we are going to add a new row and this row is going to be like this one so we are going to add this structure for our row uh, so before adding any uh, modules to our row what we have to do is that we have to open up our row settings go to design sizing and increase the maximum width to the maximum value which is 2560 and also increase the width percentage uh, to 100 percent now hit save and um, now let's just change the section background color uh, to something like this okay so it looks cool now we have set up our environment for the menu and for the buttons so now we are going to add uh, modules in our row first of all let's just add our menu module select the menu which i have already done go to logo add a logo image and then we are going to select this one uh, which comes with a default DV layout and for the background let's just remove the background uh, and make it transparent cool now go back to design layout and change the layout to inline centered logo and for the menu text we are going to change the active link color to something like this menu font to something like lato and uh, change the text color to white increase the size and also increase the font weight to bold and add a little bit letter spacing to it like this okay now we have our menu set up now what we are going to do here is that we we are going to add a text module not a button module um, i know you guys are thinking what am i going to do with the text module but wait for a second I'm going to tell you guys what exactly are we planning to do so let's just add a text module here and um, type in the text which is sign in or sign up or login whatever you want to type here and change the style the HTML heading style to heading one go to design 
heading text heading font and change it to something like poppins change the text alignment to center text color to white and increase the size by one pixel like this so we have our text ready here we are going to copy this module and we are going to drop it here and change the text to shop so i'm just telling you guys what kind of creative uh, peaks we can touch with the new custom header you don't necessarily have to copy me i'm just trying to give you an example of the many of the trillion uh, creative headers that we can design in divi so once we have our text and our module we are going to open up the row settings and we are going to open up the column settings and we are going to add a link which means when you have to sign in you have to add a link for example i'm going to add wp admin link here so that when the user clicks on the left column it's, it is going to lead uh, to the uh, uh, login page so once we are done with the url we are going to go to background and add hover options and for the desktop we want our background to look like this and for on hover we want it to change to something like this now we have to go back to design spacing and add a padding of something like 38 pixels and we are going to link it like this cool now head back copy the settings and paste them here cool we can also add some creative design uh, to our uh, column for example we can add a border we can change the border of our menu uh, i know it looks awkward but uh, let me show you one example of what we can do with the borders of our column so let's just add border to our first and last uh, column like this now once we have designed our columns we have to hit save changes and we have to decrease the padding of our section like this and also the padding of our row like this so now we have a full width section but with three different columns so this is uh, the navigation menu and now to add social media icons what we are going to do here is that uh, we are going to add a new section a regular section with a single row and here we are going to add social media icons or social media follow module and what we are going to do here is that we are going to open up every settings for our social networks and remove their background like this we are going to do the same with twitter and then we are going to add two new social media icons uh, let's just add youtube and uh sorry remove its background color as well and add instagram and remove its background color as well like this i know that they have become invisible but now what we are going to do here is that we are going to change the alignment to center and open up our icon color settings add hover options and for the desktop we want the icon colors to to remain as white and on hover we want the icons to change to something like this and now we are going to increase the icon font size to something like 19 pixels and now we are going to open up our row settings go to background and add a background something like this and now go back to design sizing change the width to something like uh, 11% and uh, go back to spacing and add add a margin of 44 pixels uh, but I know it looks super strange here but it is going to look okay when we uh, go back to our live site so once we are done with this we are just going to add a padding to 2% padding uh, to our top and 2% padding to our bottom as well so we have this social media bar here one more thing that we have to make sure that the section for the social media row has no background like this so once we are so once we are done with this 
uh, we are going to save our changes and go back to our home page and reload it to see our header design so now we have the navigation menu and the social media icons which look pretty cool we have these two buttons uh, so now what we are going to do here is that um, we are going to add custom CSS to make it float or to make it sticky uh, so the CSS is very simple you can type it uh, on your own uh, but if you still want the CSS I will um, link down a Facebook post from where you can copy the CSS code anyways uh, first let's just open up our section settings the main section settings go to advanced go to visibility and change the Z index to 999 which is the maximum value so make sure the Z index is 999 and you can uh, decrease the value to something like 900 or 700 but but it is good that if you set it to the maximum value available now we are going to add the custom css which is position we want it to remain fixed so we want to change our position to fixed and we are going to add left zero we don't want any margin or padding zero like this oops uh, I forgot to add column here so let's just add column here and uh, here as well like this uh, now we're going to save our changes and now let's just go back to our builder view and uh, open up our row settings our social media row settings go back to advanced and change its Z index to something like uh, 997 or 996 it doesn't really matter but make sure that it is less than 999 and now add the custom CSS here which is position fixed uh, left 0 right 0 and for the top we want to add 10% like this it looks super strange but you can uh, fix these values later on so once we are done with these values we are going to hit save and now we are going to refresh our website our website's home page and we are going to see what changes have been made okay so here we have this uh, menu which is now sticky but our icons here are colliding so so to fix that what we are going to do here is that we are going to open up our row settings and add a uh, spacing to something uh, like four pixels let's say save our changes here go back and reload okay cool so we have these icons here you can adjust the padding and margin uh, to make them look perfect but you have got the idea we have designed our custom header we have made it sticky floating and now here comes the best part we are going to make it responsive for mobile and tablet devices for example if we go back to tablet view from here you're going to see that it looks super super duper strange we have these two strange columns here we don't even have our social media icons and this menu looks super strange as well so we are going to fix that so to fix that we are going to head back to our theme builder and the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to disable our section for mobile and tablet devices this trick may be familiar to you but i'm going to uh, apply this trick to our um, custom header and we are going to see the result which will be super cool so now once we have disabled our custom header for mobile and tablet devices now what we are going to do here is that we are going to add a new full width menu yes a full width menu from here full width menu like this so we have added the full width menu now and now we are going to design it so it is going to be really quick we are going to add our logo image we are going to change the background color uh, to something like this change the layout so let's just make the layout uh, left aligned go to menu text active link color 
uh, repeat all the changes that we have already made make it regular increase the size something like this and change the color to white okay so for example we have uh, made this uh, menu and just go back to drop down menu and for the menu background color on mobile devices we want it to uh, look like this so we have our menu here and now for the social media icons what we are going to do here is that we are simply going to uh, copy our row here add a new section here and then just simply drag this row to this section here and we are going to remove all the CSS and visibility changes that we created uh, on this row so let's just remove the CSS here go back to visibility and decrease the Z index to something like this so here we have uh, our mobile menu it looks super strange but once uh, we but now what we have to do is that we have to make this header disable on desktop like this we are going to save our changes here and we are going to go back to our tablet view and we are going to reload it here so now you can see uh, this menu and now we can uh, fix this by doing some changes to the paddings uh, for example what we can do here is that we can decrease the spacing here and uh, let's just save our changes here go back reload so we have it here and now uh, to make these icons look cool uh, to look normal we are simply going to uh, increase the width of our module so we are going to make it look something like this 18 pixels or maybe 17 pixels 16 pixels 16 percent uh, like this and we are going to make sure that our section doesn't have a background color like this we are going to save our changes go back and reload it here now okay so it looks cool now and now uh, we can uh, again increase the width of our uh, row social media row and it is going to look super cool uh, but now we have one problem that we we don't have this sign in and show up button so to fix this uh, problem we can simply create an another menu with the same content but this time we are going to add two extra um, items which are going to be images uh, actually and if you want to learn how to add icons to DV menu you can uh, go ahead and visit elegant themes blog uh, which exactly show you guys how to add icons to the DV menu so I have already done that so I'm going to simply open up our menu settings select the menu which is sub and save changes like this and now once I re refresh it from here I am going to see these two icons which are dark but I just added them to show you guys what we can actually achieve and if we go back to the mobile view we can see that it looks super cool and then you can obviously change the width and padding to make things look more interesting uh, so this was it from this video I would be really glad if you have find this uh, tutorial interesting you for you learned some new tricks uh, if you did don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can get to know about this trick as well uh, happy learning keep learning and keep earning we'll meet you very soon with another exciting video till then take care allah hafiz